Welcome to a video of the Tug Individual Program, Tug Individual Experience. So, you know, it's a good thing I waited before I really made a video on this because I knew something wasn't right. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, I got a, um, a there was a video that was posted that had um, my name in it. And the person asked me to inbox them. Right. So I sent them a friend request. And because I you know, he wasn't friends and, you know, this this guy, uh, his name is Brother Polite. Right. So I'm thinking that, OK, you know, it's the, his video. I'll see him in the video. So when I sent him a friend request, he accepted the friend request and he started, um, you know, we started a conversation online. Right. One actually we didn't just started, but, you know, it was a, I think I can't remember what it was. I think it was a October 9th. It was a Saturday. It was October 9th, a Saturday. Hold on, let me see here. Um, October 9th, it was a Sunday, right? Uh, yeah, it was Sunday, well, yeah, Sunday, early, early Sunday in the morning, right? So this guy, he's talking about, um, you know, he's like, you know, how you doing? Good, good, good in your cryptocurrency, such and such. And I was like, brother, I have no cryptocurrency. I'm currently in disability. I'd be in attack with acoustical vibrational uh, uh, microwave weaponry for many years by the U.S. law enforcement and security agencies conducting non-consensual human experimentation and illegal, excuse me, just either any illegal microchipping, right? I said, I know it sounds weird, but that's what happened. I now have severe back injury and neurological damage. And he goes, oh, brother, you are uh, interested in, are you are you interested in learning Christmas investment? Then he keeps asking me money. And at the point, I was like, something just not right. Something is not right, you know? Something is not right. Like, what the hell is going on here? Okay? So, um, so I told him, I said, I don't have any funds and blah, blah, blah. But he kept trying to, you know, kept asking me, you know, how much money you got, this and that. And that. So then I ended the conversation. I didn't really bother, right? So for some strange reason, okay, um, I was, uh, you know, I usually post stuff on Facebook because I have the book by Dr. Nick. Uh, baggage called control in the human mind right so i usually post little uh extras from the book or what have you so i said you know let me tag him in it you know to the to the post you know so when i went look type in his name look what comes up look who comes up <laughs> okay right so he went from this right let me see i, I can't really zoom in but you know you can see this it's a, a black guy with um you know brother polite he's a black guy um you know black man you know what i'm saying and he does a lot of these crypto things i'm thinking to myself okay like what the hell is going on here man like some like i said i knew something wasn't right i knew something wasn't right okay so you click and uh, and who is this guy who is this person for views profile on facebook okay I mean, this is a book I, ha I have, right? Controlling the human mind. Uh, the technology is political control and tools for peak performance. Okay. With one mutual friend. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? But again, I talk about these Christians, these evangelicals, you know, the tricks that they play, the manipulation game that they play. This is what they've been doing to us as a people not just me as a ti but me being a black man uh and the vast majority of our people uh particularly here in the united states are indoctrinated with this christianity bullshit and what they've done is created the weapons to now where they can directly control people and command them to do things you know and they'll never know and given the history of the united states particularly when it comes to dealing with black people come on seriously like People even need to get their head out of the damn sky, okay? So again, the use of manipulation, use of tricks, and I just, my video, I talked about how to, you know, just like Paul, how they use trickery, how he lies and use trickery to br to bring people to, to so-called Christ, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they are, that's what they are about. They understand, they know that Jesus, the, our belief in Jesus Christ is the only thing that is keeping us from being who we're supposed to be. Okay? 
as a people, as a group. And they fear that. They fear that we will, if we have political, economical, economic power, that we will turn the tables on them. But we are not that kind of people. But it is their fear. And the more they continue to do us harm, the more they continue to oppress us, to assault us and murder us, is the more their fear is going to become a reality. And they don't even understand that. They don't. So this is why they have to create technologies to control our minds. All right. So again, this is why they want me to be quiet. They don't want me, you know, talking about technology that they've developed and that they've created. They don't want me talking about what they've done to me. They don't want that. So again, stop falling for the tricks and the manipulation. Understand that this Christianity BS was created to control us, to steal from us, and to keep us docile during our oppression but now they have the technology which they've developed to do that without religion but it's better if they use it along with religion right they make you believe that it's god speaking to you right even though it says in the bible that god doesn't uh, jesus don't speak to anybody anymore any humans anymore so when you hear these pastors you hear, all them talk about god telling them this god telling them that People wake up in the morning, or oh, God, God told me in a dream. God didn't tell you nothing. It is not God. Okay, God didn't exist. He doesn't exist, right? And if you study the Bible, if you read the Bible, it'll tell you in the Bible that God no longer speak to us. So then they'll say, oh well, He speak to us through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is dead in the Bible. Did He die? He died in the Bible, right? Okay. So this is why you have many different uh, denominations of Christianity teaching different things. Because they leave it up to their own interpretation. Okay? So, miss me with that BS. Not falling for it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.